Goodness, what a lady you are. Mm, all I've ever wanted to be. Mm. So, dancing for Sonoria, or are you desperate to start gambling? Oh, I'll start the gambling. I bet during that handstand you remembered it's only four weeks since you gave birth. <laughs> <laughs> lady of wild times keeping watch. Hi, Honoria. The elegance. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea why my brother leaves home so often. Would you like a drink? No, thank you. I mean, what are we supposed to do? Hello. I just wanted to see the garden. Sometimes you just need to breathe, don't you? She understands somebody choosing to be alone any more than she understands what a lord is. Richard? Yes. Well, he's just a man. Cheetahs. Herself. Extraordinary to know what that even means. I think one day you just figure it out. She's too busy fighting Jeannie over your brother. What's he done? They don't know him. What I hear, he's an enigma. He's a monster. I've enjoyed, Miss St. George, the opportunity of making your acquaintance these past weeks. I've long waited to meet someone who might put me in a marrying frame of mind. Might you... Might you agree to be my wife? Do you mean it? I mean it entirely. <laughs> then yes. yes. I agree. I quite agree. It's fine. Are all of your friends coming this evening? One of them scuttled off to New York with the mothers. The pretty one. Um, Nothing useful to say. Could be any of them. Lizzie went back home to New York, but the rest are all invited, so yes, of course. Conchita, she's here. It's Ginny. Ginny's here.
Nice view. I just thought I'd sit for a while. What are you reading? A book. Yeah, I think I heard of that. So, Ginny and Seden, did you hear? Your mother, is she? Cold, naturally, at the speed. Though when the bills must be paid. <sighs> your family are desperate to make my friends feel worthless when they lower themselves to marry your brothers. Let's try and be happy for them, shall we? This integral family members who, uh, well, how many times have you visited? Every year. Oh, God. <laughs> Next, we will see the dining room where the family dines, slides down the table. <laughs> we do have castles in New York, you know. They built one in Central Park a few years ago. When was this one built? 1342, originally. Oh. Okay. After that, we'll see the state rooms for when the dignitaries visit. Shoulders back, old girl. Shoulders back. Back to the summer of 1879, ideally, when we still held hope of finding you a husband. <coughs> Everything's changing, isn't it? Yes. It is. Oh, for God's sake, let's have a drink. Looks awful, doesn't it? Hideous. <laughs> I, I, I could have just gone to bed. I, I almost did, in fact. But I expect if I had, I, I probably would have just got back up again. happy for them. For my part, the doves are a step too far, but Patricia's never shy of excess. Who is in New York? Whereas if it had been me, Lizzie, if you hadn't disappointed the family, let us all down, decided for whatever reason, ill health or overexcitement, to take yourself away, perhaps we'd be holding a party of this kind. But I'm just saying, you were the pick of that ball. On that staircase, everyone said so. And if you'd only agree to go back to England and try to... What? Oh, yes, she refuses. <laughs> now that she's met the Queen, she thinks she is one. Perhaps if I'd had daughters more... Agreeable. Obedient. Appealing. There, you've made me say it. I've said it. Appealing. I have to go find Ginny. Wait, Lizzie. I'm just saying, if you'd both been more open to the process, this could have been our party. Yeah, well, only without the doves, right? Oh, the doves are a step too far, certainly. In polite society, you don't actually drink a drink, you know. I believe you do drink drinks, Mother. Mabel, I was a girl once and thought I knew what was what. But I'm afraid gradually you're forced to realize you know nothing at all. When the others go back to England, you'll be staying here with me. What? No, I can't. I'm afraid if Lizzie's here, then so are you. What would people say if I had daughters on different consonants? <laughs> Your sister has ruined it for us all.
Lizzie, what are you playing at? If we have to stay here with Mother, I, I shall die. You won't die. How do you know I might? This all used to feel so familiar and... Safe. Yes. And now it's... It's different. Is this still because Seedon chose her? Mabel, you are so much more like Mother than you will ever see because you know nothing at all about anything. from New York, mother, I'm so much more myself. <laughs> Imagine. Of course, I've barely missed you at all. <laughs> so, is there anyone in England like us? Like you? Oh, Lily, you should see them all. There's not a single person like me. Mother, I'm gonna go back to England with the girls to be with Ginny. Find myself a husband if I can, and Mabel can come with me. Oh, Lizzie, that's the spirit. I believe in you, I do. Thank you, of course. So, Duchess Man, when are we going back to England? Oh, Lizzie, thank goodness. Mother, earlier. You're all right, are you, Mabel? I, I do want my girls to be all right. Yes, very much so. But, Mother, listen, up, upstairs. Now, Mabel, put on your shawl properly, and that's the end of it. However will we find you a husband if you're only ever wearing half a shawl? The maze. Mabel couldn't even find the maze. I'm looking forward to her trying to find her way out of it. <laughs> right, so, bonfire night was Mother's favorite. Months of planning, a massive feast, hundreds of guests. And this is everyone? Yeah. I couldn't bear it when they came at first, saying every thought out loud and giving in to every whim. When was the last time you laughed like they do? Not since I was a child. Mm -hmm. I used to think that they needed to be taught how to behave. And now? I wonder if it's us who need to learn how to live. Mabel. I've thought about you. Since that night at Tintagel. Lady Honoria. Are you flirting? <laughs> you are. I'm delighted for you. <laughs> Oh, 
What a good decision we made, my darling, to put this lake in our stately home. Oh, it was the perfect choice. You, my dear, have impeccable taste. Those curtains you chose for our parlor are a delight. <laughs> home sweet home. You know, it's a bit smaller than I remember. <laughs> but exactly what we need. It's getting quite late. Perhaps we should retire. Are you sure you're ready for retiring? Quite sure. <laughs> everything you left I thought we'd be missed you make me brave I mean it you're the bravest person I've ever met I walked out and I left you. I had expected that you wanted to go back up to the house. Just before our children return home from school. Honoria. You know how little William loves to play the piano. Honoria, so... stop it. Please stop it. Why? Because it's ridiculous. It's stupid. As if we could ever actually have children. But it's just a game. Do you not understand? Our whole lives are pretending. Every single one of my friends gets to dance and giggle and hold hands in public the whole time and nobody minds a bit. They don't have to be brave. They, they get celebrated. They get a ring and a party and they have parents that can bear to look at them. Honoria, this isn't new to me. None of this. And in fact, it bores me. Pretending bores me. actually alive in there. <laughs> yeah, Miles is funny and charming. And he has that penniless second son thing of having to marry money. That's exactly what I look for. You know, Mother Hall is home next month if you're still horrifyingly unmarried. Oh, it's Christmas. It's no time to think about home. And if you want to <laughs> stay so badly, why don't you marry him? I was hoping to see you earlier. Hmm. Yes, I thought during all that snowballing and whooping, you were probably really looking for me. That evening, after we'd been at the boathouse, I was awful. I'm so sorry, my mouth sometimes. I don't know anything about your mouth. 
Oh, I feel terrible. I shouldn't have. It was entirely new for me. What happened? What we did? What I felt? All of it. It was all new. And I'm so sorry that I... I felt it too. Happy Christmas. It's a silly, probably. The two of them are reminding me. I, I mean, they do not do what we did. Those two, not even slightly. Which is bad luck for them, actually. But that'd be a different kind of music box. Just the way they seem to be together. Anyway, um, Lizzie and I will have to go back to New York soon. And actually, I've thought of a way to stay, but in case my plan doesn't work out, good luck, Honoria. I've been trying to learn how to be less reserved. You are not reserved. Perhaps I'm riddled with secret shyness? I saw your knickers before I saw your face. <laughs> <laughs> Anoria, is there perhaps a man who's caught your eye? No, there's no man. You know, confidence is not just ribbons or flowers in your hair. There's a kind of glow that comes with understanding yourself, which I believe you have. And it's absolutely beautiful. And underwear helps, of course, too. Fantastic underwear. Mm. Have you tried this? <laughs> Thank God you're here. We'd be lost without each other. The others just don't understand us. For free spirits. <laughs> Not free for long. My parents are planning to marry me off to some rich boar. If only we could both find spouses who just let us do as we please. Miles. Uh, somebody who's a, a woman, Florence Nightingale. Mm. Waiter. Um, pouring a chemist, a scientist. A uh, uh, doctor. Um, uh, bar, bar, bar. Tea, cup of tea. Uh, me, uh, Anoria, I'm a Anoria, open window open. Anoria. I'm a... Oh, it's Mr. James Bullman. Who? Mr. James Bullman. He delivers the milk to my parents. <laughs> if we knew him, I'm sure it would have been very good. Oh, I, 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 I didn't know anybody. Everybody, can I just. Mabel Elmsworth, this may be rather sudden, but sometimes something just comes along that makes such complete sense. 
Will you marry me? <laughs> and stay in England as your wife? That would, I, I believe it would be absolutely perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Just right. Mabel, what on earth? It works for us all. Now mother can't drag us home. But, Mabel, you don't actually, you don't love him. No, I mean, no more than he loves me. But which married couple can honestly say they're in love? I know more than most that we can't choose how we're born. But we can choose who we are and who we love. It's my first time seeing the New Year in from England. It's almost midnight, you ought to find your fiance. I got engaged so I could carry on being me. So that's who you are then? A liar and a disappointment. I forgot making others feel small is your favorite pastime. I was fine before I met you. I'd never been under any impression that I might be special. Never lied to you by my parents that I might one day be wanted. I knew my limitations and I had made peace with them. But then you arrived. And you made me feel so... I hate you for making me feel like I could be loved. being next. <laughs> yes, at some stage. Whatever comes after. I mean, I guess for us, that's the joy of it. After the wedding, we get to just be as we are. Until the children come along. <laughs> I assume, well, even a convenient marriage can continue the line and Definitely. What are we? You look so frightened. What's happened? This is how I am. This is how I've always been. Underneath. But I don't want to be anymore. I feel broken. What do you, what do you mean, broken? When we were little, the way you and others looked at boys and got butterflies, like with Harry Hamilton, do you remember? The blushing you all did. <laughs> Harry Hamilton was the fastest runner in town. Well, for me, I know I should have had butterflies about Harry Hamilton. That's what's normal. But I never did. I had those feelings. I have those feelings about girls. And I tried to be like you, but I'm just not. Mother walked in on me in New York with a maid. She looked at me like I was a monster. Mabel, I'm so sorry. What did she say? She just walked back out like I was nothing. Mabel, listen to me. Listen. You're talking about love. How can love ever be wrong? If that's what gives you butterflies, then you are exactly who you're supposed to be. 
You're Mabel. You're beautiful. You're not disgusted, Charlie. Shame. You have to try and let that go. You're too lovely to be ruined. Thank you for telling me. Hold on. Which maid? Well, not Martha. She's 80. <laughs> <laughs> Once you're married, we can wave to each other from a distance. I talked to Miles. I'm not getting married. I know you and I won't get any of this. We won't get any of their world, not really. Not in a way we deserve, but perhaps if we can be brave, we can make our own world. And maybe, maybe it'll be better. They don't know who we are, the rest of them. But they don't need to, as we do. We do. Do we? We do. We do, we do. We do. <laughs> 